When it comes to venturing out into local lakes, Mother Nature isn't quite cooperating. Folks on Flat Lake, which is near Big Lake, have already reported two vehicles through the ice and a plow truck sunk to the bottom of Horseshoe Lake just a couple of weeks back. Now, when the ice was just a few inches thick, a storm dumped a blanket of snow on South Central, which pushed the ice down and created overflow. Water then came up and made for a slushy mess that's slow to refreeze. A big problem is that from the surface, it's hard to judge the ice safely through all the snow. They ought to, uh, you know, take their chainsaw or at least a cordless drill with a, with a paddle bit that works the best, and and check the ice if they're going to drive in some place where, you know, where they it hasn't been checked. Haggard says it's a good idea to make sure there's at least eight inches of good clear ice before taking any car or truck across and to stay on the plowed roads. I can hear the viewers right now. Oh, looking at that, uh, looking at that video there, unbelievable. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till there's a full foot of ice before I get <laughs> my. Let's wait till on. May and get a boat. I don't know. Th that's a good idea. Some too. good tips though. Wait till it's at least eight inches thick. Yeah, What's going definitely. on in the weather?